are originally planned to test Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 and Borderlands 2 respectively, but since I didn't have internet on the laptop for a few days, I couldn't install the requested games, so instead I decided to test two other games which I already have on my system, and these are, Assassin's Creed Rogue, and Portal 2, although I will test the Naruto and Borderlands afterwards. Anyway, back to Assassin's Creed Rogue. The Portal 2 video will be published shortly after this video is published. Now, the last Assassin's Creed game that I tested on this channel was the original version of Assassin's Creed 3 from 2012, which ran worse than how I expected it to run. Assassin's Creed Rogue however, is an even newer game, therefore given that it's newer than Assassin's Creed 3, which barely touches on double digit average FPS with my specs, and considering how terribly optimized Assassin's Creed games are, the fact that I'm trying to run a 2015 Assassin's Creed game on the terrible Celeron N2840 and the horrid Intel HD graphics bay trail is surely a ridiculous idea, right? Well, the keyword here is optimized. We already know that Assassin's Creed games are poorly optimized for PC, like other Ubisoft games to be honest, and Assassin's Creed 3's PC port is a fine example, but the more recent Assassin's Creed Rogue on the other hand, is an exception. Let's see what I mean by that. Here are the graphics settings menus of both games. Let's first look at the original version of Assassin's Creed 3's 1. As you can see, there are only 4 options which you can tweak aside from the resolution 1, and all in all it just looks like Ubisoft put little to no effort into optimizing the game. While in Assassin's Creed Rogue on the other hand, look at how many stuff you can disable or tweak. For example, you can lower down the ocean quality, you can disable the ambient occlusion, the reflections, and even the shadows, which not many games allow you to do, at least by default. So the developers must have definitely taken into account the low-end gamers this time around. So let's see how it runs. And don't worry, I will test it at 800 by 600 afterwards. Yeah, at the laptop's native resolution, you just can't expect high FPS when you have such terrible integrated graphics, no matter the optimization, but so far, this already runs better than how Assassin's Creed 3 did at 800 by 600 and if I'm honest, this still feels somewhat playable in my opinion, but then again I'm saying that because of low playability standards. too fast for you. I'm just keeping an eye on you, in case you fall down and hurt yourself.
no status for you. Very thoughtful. Maybe you are not completely useless, see? Speaking of useless, those blockheads won't be needing this vessel anymore. This pile of mail. You want her, Shay? She is yours. Now bring me back to my ship. Here, Chevalier. This vessel is yours, Shay. Go on. Take the wheel. Some of the men you rescued agreed to join us. We should prove a good crew. I'm not so certain about their captain, but next to me you are the most experienced sailor in the Brotherhood chain. Besides, we could use another vessel, even this pitiful one. She's mine, ain't she? Oh, shit. Your own pile of garbage, yes. Ah, with a lick of paint and a few new cannons. She'll look as fine as anything on the seven seas. Shall we begin, Captain? Indeed, mate. Cut off. She's a mess, but she's still afloat. And her name's the bargain. A ship! She's a full ship! They will sink her! For some reason the GPU utilization dropped, and the FPS dropped to 7 in that spot. Battle ready indeed, even with low FPS. Okay, now let's move on to 800 by 600. Oh yeah, now that is very good. Look at that smoothness people. 37 FPS maximum right there. See, this is what I mean by saying that Assassin's Creed Rogue is well optimized. I mean, the fact that this 2015 AAA title, not to mention it's an Assassin's Creed game, doesn't run at 5 to 10 FPS average, with these god awful laptop specs, is still absolutely impressive in my opinion. Instead, it's actually quite playable, at least so far. Now, the only thing that I don't like about this game's optimizations is the requirement for DirectX 11 feature level support, meaning that all of these GPUs can't even launch this game at all, which is really sad, because it would have been even better if older GPUs could run this game, but oh well, I guess this isn't a problem for me, since the Intel HD graphics bay trail do thankfully support DX11.
was saving those fellas for you. Very thoughtful. Maybe you are not completely useless, Chase. Thinking of useless? Those blockheads won't be needing this vessel anymore. This pile of mail? You want her, Shay? She is yours. Now bring me back to my ship. You heard, Chevalier? This vessel is yours, Shay. What? Take the wheel. Some of the men you rescued agreed to join us. They should prove a good crew. I'm not so certain about their captain, but next to me, you are the most experienced sailor in the Brotherhood chain. Besides, we could use another vessel, even this pitiful one. She's mine, ain't she? Help, oh, shit. Your own pile of garbage, yes? Ah, with a lick of paint and a few new cannons, she'll look as fine as anything on the seven seas. Shall we begin, Captain? Indeed, mate. She's a mess, but she's still afloat. Underneath the bargain. A ship. She's a fucking ship. They will sink her. Oh, for fuck's sake. It still drops during naval battles, and now our IGPU is being underutilized, meaning that it's pretty much the CPU's fault for this. So if you have the Celeron N2840, then you need to take into consideration that the FPS will inevitably drop during naval battles, or when sailing towards demanding areas. Yeah it's not as good during naval battles, but the game is still playable in my opinion. 20 FPS average, not so bad, but I'm not done yet. There's a way to make Rogue run at a resolution lower than 800 by 600, and I'm going to show you the method right now. Go to documents, that Assassin's Creed Rogue folder, then open the Assassin Rogue.ini file. In the config file, change the borderless window value from 0 to 1. Because in order to run this game in a resolution lower than 800 by 600, we will have to use the windowed borderless mode. After that change the display width and display height values to match the resolution that you want to use. Now save the file. Finally we need to change the desktop resolution down to the resolution that we set in the game's config file. We are done. Let's go back to the game to see if we have done everything right. And it seems like we indeed did everything right. For some reason now it says undefined in the resolution option in the graphics settings menu. Come on. So yeah, this is Assassin's Creed Rogue at 400p. Doesn't look all that pixelated in the video. But trust me, it does look quite pixelated at 400p actually, but then again who cares about graphics. And also now the black bars at the bottom and top are smaller, as 640x400 is a widescreenish resolution. Now the way to fully get rid of the black bars would have been to create a custom resolution with a 16x9 aspect ratio from the Intel HD graphics control panel, such as 768x432 or 640x360. But since the Betrayal Intel HD graphics don't support custom resolutions, I guess 640x400 will do the job, lowering the resolution of the game from 800x600 to 640x400 doesn't actually give a significant performance boost with the seller 
Formula N2840, which is understandable, since now the CPU is the limiting factor almost all of the time, and not only during naval battles. Fellas for you. Very thoughtful. Maybe you were not completely useless shape. Speaking of useless, those blockheads won't be needing this vessel anymore. And this pile of mail. You want her shape? She is yours. Now bring me back to my ship. Some of the men you rescued agreed to join us. You should prove a good crew. I'm not so certain about their captain. But next to me, you're the most experienced sailor in the Brotherhood chain. Besides, we could use another vessel. Even this pitiful one. She's mine, ain't she? I hope she. A pile of garbage, yes. Ah, with a lick of paint and a few new cannons, she'll look as fine as anything on the seven seas. Shall we begin, Captain? Indeed, mate. Oh, God, no. She's a mess. But she's still afloat. And her name's the Morgan. A ship! This is a false ship! They will sink her! Let's put the Morgan to the test, I can say. Ready for battle, man. Twenty three FPS, almost cinematic average law. 